it's Natasha welcome back to the channel um, before we start making cards um, there there is a, something I want to share with you in terms of colors and color combinations I'm not very good at color combinations and I often struggle which colors to choose and that's why uh, I oftentimes go for two color um, schemes and these are some of my favorite color combinations like blue and aqua with brown yellow and um, purple or yellow and blue uh, pink and gray and so on or monochromatic look like shades of blue or shades of brown shades of uh, purple which I've started using only recently I've never really liked this color that much but for some reason I um, I use it more often these days if you look at the color um, uh, color wheel uh, there are different um, recommendations and different scheme, harmonious color schemes. For example, uh, monochromatic, obviously, when you use uh, shades of one color. Or um, complementary, when you use two colors that are directly opposite each other on the color wheel. Like, for example, green and red, or yellow and uh, violet. Or there is also an, an analogous scheme when you use three um, colors that are adjacent to each other on the color wheel. So either two or three for example these or these and there are different and here in on this uh, color wheel you can see other combinations um, that you can sort of uh, combine your colors you know triangles and this so d different ways really so I'm not really going to explain you how a color wheel works because I'm not an expert by no means and there are a lot of great tutorials on YouTube um, if you're interested so as I said I often go for two color schemes because they're easy and um, they um, you know you can make uh, elegant and beautiful cards with them so today we'll make four cards and each will be just two colors so let's jump right in So I'm using Fancy Bloom set from Pink Fresh Studio uh, and I'm using my Misty to stamp on two watercolor panels at once um, and I'm going to heat emboss these floral images with um, clear embossing powder. So I do the usual routine, I prep the surface, use Versamark ink and I use clear embossing powder and I make four panels, so there will be two of each. Uh, you can't probably see that, but you'll see it later. So I'm deciding on the colors and I decided to go for blue and brown, um, for yellow and something and for pink and uh, gray, but well, you'll see. I'm using Pink Fresh Studio watercolors, which, well, you know how much I love them. So, <laughs> so I'm using, you can see the colors on screen and I'm using a white brush and I just apply colors. Um, I'm not really uh, bothered to do it evenly. I like the watercolor look and I like uh, that you can see uh, the strokes and the edges are uneven. I really like that. So now I'm using bubble pink um, color and uh, two floral images, the smaller ones. I didn't cover the complete panel uh, but with bigger images I cover the entire panel so the color uh, part will be bigger. Uh, now I, uh, I'm adding some detail to the images and uh, I can't even call this coloring or drawing because I'm just, uh, you know, dropping color uh, onto petals and leaves. Mm. And uh, so it's easy to do because the heat embossing, uh, embossing powder is still there and it creates li these little wells and it's easy to color. So I'm just... Well, adding, I can't even call it shading, right? It's just some adding some color. And now I'm using my iron to iron off the embossing powder. Uh, all you need is just a regular iron and some clean uh, copy paper. The heat of the iron will remelt the embossing powder and it will stick to the um, paper and you will remove it from your card. So I iron off embossing powder from all four panels. And it's better to do this several times to make sure that you remove it uh, completely. So our panels are ready. I'm deciding on the colors to use for stamping. And um, 
so you can see that well blue and brown uh pink and gray uh purple and uh, well, darker purple and i'm sort of thinking which to use with yellow and i'll go for brown in the end spoiler alert <laughs> and now i'm stamping so i left the stamps on my on the door of my misty so they would stamp well approximately the same way and i'm not really bothered with lining um, my panels closely and you will see why um, you obviously you could just stamp without embossing and without ironing off you could just stamp images and they would stamp fine with darker ink on lighter background but when embossing uh, created sort of masked the image and when i removed the embossing powder i had this white outline of the image and when i stamped uh, the floral image the second time this the white there was a white sort of shadow um and it and it's really pretty you can't see it but you will see it on close-up photos um either in the uh, on the blog so you can go to the blog and um, see it there um the set has little um flower center so i stamped them um and of course i added splatters <laughs> um i always do that so and for the sentiments i'm using uh, two sets from pink fresh studio you can see them on screen um and well uh basically that's almost it i add my panels onto colored cutstock um brown uh, so i use brown for my yellow panel and for my blue panel and um gray um yeah, so brown for my yellow panel, um, purple for um, our monochromatic panel, and gray for the pink one. Here are our cards ready. Uh, so for this one, I decided to uh, go landscape with this one. And uh, for the sentiment, I use my favorite things to say set, which I think I've been using it a lot recently. So... I just hit embossed it in gold and foam mount mounted it. For this card, I used for the sentiment of this delicate die cut, I use um, Hey Gorgeous die set, uh, which allows you to cut this very delicate words, Hey Gorgeous, but also to create a shadow. So you can use vellum behind or different color cutstock. Okay. So this one, I added some sequence, which is a big thing for me. I hardly ever add sequence. Um, so yeah, something something happened to me. And for this card, I added some um, clear jewel drops just to uh, jazz it up a little bit. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you like these cards and you like these ideas. And they, I think as they were all created using one well technique, they will make a great set. So you can just uh, add matching envelopes, um, tie it with a ribbon, and it will be a lovely handmade set. Thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel for more inspiration um, and hope to see you again soon. Bye.